Hi, YouTube people. I'm so excited for this post. You have no idea. Um, it's been a long time coming for me, and I've really challenged myself. I wanted to introduce myself. Turn that off. I want to introduce myself, first and foremost, for those of you who don't know me, which really all YouTube, you guys don't really know me yet. My name is Chef Nessa. Um, also, Vanessa Newell is my name, but I'm, I go by Chef Nessa, or Nessa, but mostly Chef Nessa, because this is going to be a YouTube posting, blog, whatever you want to call it, um, about food, mainly cooking. I get so many young people, people, once they find out I'm a chef, they're like either, hey, that's a good way to catch a man, which hasn't happened yet. Two, they immediately say, uh, can you cook for me? And three, they say, can you teach me how to cook? So, I thought, hmm, trying to get my fit in here. I thought one easy way was to start a YouTube channel. But I must tell you, I was really nervous about it because I wanted it to be perfect. And I want to have all these cool layouts. And, you know, you get kind of intimidated looking at YouTube and you see what other people are doing. And you're like, I want to do that too. But the reality of the situation is I'm not there yet. But I had a really um, encouraging talk. Sorry, I'm fidgeting with my hair. Just trying to make sure it looks good for you, YouTube people. Anyway, I had a really I had a really good conversation with a really good friend of mine. Her um, YouTube page, she goes by Wildly Diera. And I love Diera. And I recently had a really good talk with her. And she was like, you know what? Just do it. You just do it because if you don't do it, you'll just keep saying you're going to do it and that means you won't ever do it. And I was like, you know what? You're right. This is something that God has put in my heart to share to the world. Um, and I don't know where it's going to go. I hope it goes somewhere big. I mean, obviously, you put things out there. I think people are lying when it's like, I don't know. I don't care if it does anything. If it just reaches one person, no, for real. I'm like, if it can reach 10,000, I'm awesome. If it could reach more than that, that would be even great. And I've just been really um, inspired in this over the past year, really looking at a lot of other people's YouTube channels, specifically a lot of natural hair um, YouTube channels because um, I am natural. You probably wouldn't know it the way I look right now. Um, but I am natural, and I've seen a lot of natural hair blogs. I've also seen other people who do fashion blogs, like Nitra B, and comedy, like the Playmakers or Kev on stage. So a lot of those people really have inspired me. And you're probably asking, well, why haven't you looked at any cooking channels? And I have. And I just really haven't seen anything that was fun or kept my attention, and I'm a chef. Um, so I just imagine what, you know, other people are. Now, there are some good places, some good channels out there, I will say. Um, I think it's called Tastely Made is one. But they got all that professional camera stuff that I just don't have yet. So this is a very, very humble beginning. But I'm very excited at the same time. I am kind of dared myself today. It's like, was I really going to make the commitment? And was today going to be the day? Because I've put this off for so long. So I dared myself today, and today is the day I decided to put it up on YouTube. I was sick of just seeing my channel empty and really sick of saying shoulda, woulda, coulda. So don't say shoulda, woulda, coulda. Just do it. Be like Nike and just do it, okay? So that's what I'm planning to do. And, you know, I had to come correct. I had to look good for y'all. I just couldn't come any old way because that's not who I am. And I don't want to come like that. I want to come correct. Um, but things are going to be different about this channel, just so you know. Is that this channel is going to be focusing on helping you guys cook. Not just cook, but also making good decisions when you're out in the restaurant world. Now, I know a lot of people look at me like, wait a minute, you're not the thinnest person in the world. True, I am working on my fitness. But I love flavors, and I love taste, and I absolutely hate preservatives. I am not a fan of chain restaurants. There are a couple places that I do eat and you know I think you can find good in anything but there are specific things I want to help people on when you're eating out and also dining in at home because 
cooking is a lost art. I mean, we don't have home economics in schools anymore. Um, you know, even though we do have really great outlets like, you know, the Chew on ABC and the Food Network, of course, is phenomenal. And now they have the cooking channel. And we see things like Top Chef or Diners, Dive-Ins, and Drives. You know, we all want to eat. We, we have to eat, we, but we all like food. And then when I look at Instagram, I see a lot of things about healthy stuff as well. And I like to be healthy too. I don't think anybody inherently just says, "Hey, I want to be a I want to be a slob and eat whatever and be dumbo." I don't think anybody inherently wants to do that. But I don't think people know how to eat right. Also, I think they feel that like cooking is unattainable, and it is art, and it is about technique. I will say that, but we put it in an approachable way. And show you that it doesn't have to be like a really high budget. You could take literally something out of nothing and make it spectacular. And then make it your own. I think that's really the goal that I want to help people with. So we're just going to look at a couple of different things. Also, I want q and I want you guys to tell me what is it that you're hankering to learn. Do you want to know how to make a creme brulee? Do you want to know what a Brussels sprout is? I mean, um, do you want to know the history of... Croissant, I don't know, whatever it is, I'm here for you. I want to make this approachable for you, for all people. So, you know, make sure you leave me questions. Um, as I get the hang of it, I'll try to make my email address available for people. But please leave your questions um, down below and leave your comments on how I can make myself better. But please be nice. I don't want people to be mean. And I don't want to have to cry or get mad. You know, we don't want to do that. So just be nice about it. Um, be constructive if you have something constructive for myself. But also, if there's something you really want to know, let's talk about it. Um, I might mention a few things about clothes and sports and entertainment. Just little things like that because I am a multifaceted person. But for the most part, this is going to be about food and eating out and cooking at home. And anything you want to know, food trends, like how do I feel about the cronut? It's just a fusion of a croissant and a donut. Um, food festivals, chef wear, equipment, all this stuff. We'll get into all that. Anything you want to know about food and cooking, um, we'll do that. And we'll also talk about water, like some health trends I'm seeing. Um, the biggest thing to learn about food is other chefs and other people sharing their ideas and collaborations. And really, you know, on things like Instagram and Twitter, it's been really helpful. So... Let me know what you want to know. Well, you know, whether it's from salads to, I don't know, duck confit, whatever it is you want to know. We'll help you with it. Ribs to, I know a lot, and I know people who know a lot as well, but I know a lot as well. Um, and I want to share those things with you, especially how to dine on a budget, how to have a nice uh, meal that's cheap, but chic, you know, those type of things. So I'm really looking forward to this new YouTube adventure with you guys and building a new YouTube relationship or partnership with you guys. Again, I want to give a shout out to people who don't even know that made this possible for me. One is Wally Dear. I love you so much. You've really taught me to step on faith to do this, and this is a big leap of faith for me to post this video. The other people I want to shout out to is Nitra B, Natural85, and Kev on stage. I religiously watch you guys on YouTube. You guys are funny, witty, it really inspired me a lot, even though you're not even in the same outlet as me. But you've really inspired me to post this first video. So, with that being said, um, I look forward to a new partnership here on YouTube and getting to know you guys way better. And whatever you want to talk about and questions that you have about techniques, food items, whatever it is, just leave your um, questions and comments down below in the comment section and I will be sure to get back to them. I'll try to answer as many questions as possible and try to respond as many questions and those that don't make it onto the video segment then I will try to answer them below. So I look forward to seeing you guys again and talking with you more about food and health and cooking and tools and gadgets and all the cool fun stuff and just get it to you guys better. So Blessings to all y'all, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.